nowadays I'm too cool for a girlfriend Nowadays I don't know when the world spins Live your life like we die when the world Yo, what's up guys? It's Eclipse here. So today I'm going to be bringing you back another video. I haven't done one in a while, but this video is going to be on a server that I use. And it's a cheap server. It's pretty good. They have, um, they have day intervals. So if you don't necessarily have lifetime, you can buy days and say if you buy a week, you don't, it doesn't normally like waste up the whole week without you using it. So, you say that you bought a week, and you only use one day out of that whole week, and you're like, man, I use, that week went by so fast right now, I, don't, I already used my week. No, you did not. So, whenever you get on, as you can see my time, it says, one day, 23 hours, 56 minutes. I just got on four minutes ago, and it started that day. Once that time goes out, for the time remaining, not the days, the time remaining, once it goes out, it will stay on one day. And the next time my Xbox connects to Xbox Live, then the next day will start clicking. So you can like buy a couple days, use one day and not get on for like maybe a month and you'll get back on and you'll still have time. That's good. That's what's good about it. Most of these servers, they're, you know, they're always going. There's not daytime intervals and stuff like that. So the server's pretty good if you're modding, but you don't mod a lot and you don't want to use your time. The server's pretty good. So um, let's just get started right up in here. So this server's pretty good. They got a lot of off hosts. They just updated their um their HUD, their their um their off host. I know Black Ops 2, I'm pretty sure got updated. But yeah, so there's a lot of stuff. Let's run through it. So right now they added a KV status, as I'm knowing, and you can see your KV status instead of having a, going to the website. You can view your teapot preferences. So for me, I have all my engines disabled, but that's just my choice. But I can I can enable them for the one of them right now. So let's just do Black Ops 2, and then you can do your notifies. You can have a welcome message, HV challenges, XOS, you know, ETC, stuff like that. So let's go in there. Alright. So it's saved. You know, I don't think you have to do a restart. I'm not sure. I'm new to this new HUD. I don't really load from XCX menu, but let's just go there, and it'll be a little quicker, because I don't feel like having to open up the neighborhood. So in the description, I'm going to be putting down Teapot's website, and I will be putting down their Discord server, just in case you have any problems, questions, stuff like that. And also, if anyone needs me to help them get a VPN on their server, or just a VPN connected to their Xbox, I can help you. I can do, a, do it wirelessly and wireless. So if you need help with that, just message me. I mostly do um, wireless, because it's easier for me. But it's your choice if you need help. So let's just go. Let's just go into a custom match real quick, and let's just look at the um, off host. So the two owners who own the server are Donald and Tommy, and they own these servers. The server's been going on for, I think, I believe, a couple years now, and it's not as expensive as Ninja or any of that crap, so you don't have to worry about it. So you can buy Lifetime. I believe Lifetime right now is $300, which is pretty good, as Ninja right now is around like $1,400 something dollars for Lifetime. And Teapot lasts literally the same exact life almost as Ninja. They, um, a user right now is going on like 500 something days unbanned, which is a year and a half almost. So that's pretty good. So, okay, so this engine has a lot of stuff. Let's just go down. So you got recoil, no recoil, you got laser. Field of view, limited radar, no sway, flinch, spoof IP, your IP gets spoofed. It's pretty cool. Custom gamer tag, flashing gamer tag, still names, prestige disco, anti host, reset gamer tag, leave game, end game, crash console, move menu. It's pretty cool, pretty neat. You can reload configuration. So we have aimbot here. This is the aimbot. You have silent, silent note spread, and you know, such like that. So I know the engine just got updated. So this is new to me. I never seen this one. The old menu used to be kind of short, short and simple, but now they got a lot of stuff. So 
We got bones, indicators, crosshairs, snap the lines, draw names, draw tags, FPS. Okay, so this is all pretty neat. This is new to me, I've never seen all this. We give God mode, take God mode. So like that. Okay, so let's just go into multiplayer now and let's go test out these mods. Or, you know, cheats for the off host. I'm pretty hyped about this off host because I haven't used it and I mostly had them disabled because I just didn't, you know, I didn't I didn't have anything wrong with the off host or anything like that. I just prefer to use my own, which was how, that was my opinion. But, um, and plus I don't really do off host. I do a lot of recoveries and, you know, gamer scores and all stuff like that. I can put, I'm gonna drop down my links for my, um, my Instagram and my Twitter. And the website OGU that I sell on, if you want to go check out my stuff on there too. Let's see. Sorry guys, sorry it's been taking so long. Just trying to go through the menu and show everybody what's new if they haven't seen it all already. So as you can see, everything's already preset, which is the good thing. So I need to disable my health bar because I already have a health bar going. So okay, so let's go on recoil. Let's turn on. Let's just turn on silent. So yeah, this the um the off host has been updated and I think it's pretty good so far. I never used the new newly updated one, so I just never got one. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, the host left. <laughs> So let's just let's just test the game. So let's just leave. So that that works. Anti-host works. Ho Anti-host is like you know it doesn't put you in a game. So, yeah. It's pretty neat. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm gonna end the video here. That's a uh, teapot. I can show off the menu real quick. It's pretty nice. The HUD HUD looks pretty good. But um. Yeah, guys, I'm going to drop all their links in the description if you want to go past some time or set up your time on Teapot if you would like to start. Whenever you first get a Teapot, if you are on a new CPU key or a new console and you never got on Teapot before, they will give you a free week of Teapot. And um, I'll get you going for a little bit. Like, I used my first week or whatever. And I've been using Teapot for a while. And ever since I got on Teapot, I probably maybe had maybe two KVs banned. This is my second one that I'm on now, and I'm, I've been lasting 153 days. I've been I've been on Teapot for a lot longer, but I you know I switched on and off, and then I finally decided to finally stick with Teapot. So um, yeah, this is a good server. I really recommend it if you don't feel like paying like a lot of money for other servers. I mean, this is pretty good. The prices for this server is four dollars for a day, seven fifty I believe for three days, twelve fifty for a week, and then so forth. But, um, yeah, this server's pretty good. I, I, I really love this server. I'm probably going to get lifetime soon for it, hopefully, if I can. Because, um, the server's killing it. I love it. It's cheap, you know, really good. Same KV life. I don't have to go spend, like, hundreds of dollars on freaking Ninja and, like, XP Online for lifetime and stuff. So, yeah. Get lifetime while you can. While it's cheap, it's $300, like I said. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Drop all my socials and all the websites that you need and everything in the description and um yeah peace out guys